Hello and welcome everyone. So in the previous video we saw how we can evaluate the PID control performance using cost function and this cost function is equal to the sum of two main cost functions. The first one is a tracking performance cost function and the second one is for the energy consumption and we saw that we can set the condition that we want to define in order to evaluate the controller by varying the weight giving to the tracking performance cost function and the energy consumption cost function and just to remind you the cost function j is equal to the integral of the error multiplied by the weight of the tracking error multiplied by the error transpose plus the same thing for the control input and what we wish to do is to choose the u or the control input that minimizes the giving cost function after setting up the right weights to the performance tracking and the energy consumption and so in this video we are going to see how we can optimize or how to choose the right control input or the gains for, of our pit controller in order to optimize the giving cost function in fact to do this we have two main options the first option is to go back to the control system lecture and study all about the how to calculate the Riccati equation and we can design or we can analytically find the optimized solution or the feedback controller that optimizes the giving cost function. The second option that we will explain in this video is to take advantage of the parametric sweep that we have introduced in the second video of this series and using the parallel sweeping we can run multiple simulations and then we can get all the cost functions relative to each simulation and then choose the right function or the cost or the controller that is giving the most optimized performance and so in this model what i have said is that i have changed the gains of the control input to kp ki and kd so we can run multiple simulation with different values giving to those gains and i have prepared a new application in the optimization tab i have added the table for variation of the control gains and a new push button so when i call the sweep gain and find maximum we are going to take all the variations of the kpki kd we will run all the simulation and then automatically after all of this is done we will have a message box that will appear and that will tell us which run or which simulation with which gains has the best cost function record so let's try it so let's take an example so first in this simulation i will vary only the kp from one to five and then i will set the ki and the kd to fixed values and then i will try to sweep and the sweep the gain and find the maximum so as i told you we have this summary where it tells us that the operation is completed with the minimum cost is equal to 29 point something for the run which is equal to 5 and the gains given for the k kp equal 5 ki equal 1 and kd equal 1 so for this particular example we have found that with the with the with the weight that we have chosen for the tracking performance cost function and the energy consumption cost function which are equal to 1 the best performance of the controller is with this particular configuration so the kp is equal to 5 is better than the kp equal to 4 and kp equal to 3 and 2 and 1 for this particular cost function and as you can see we can see on the plot that we have the run 5 we have our theta we have our d theta which is in fact relative to these two plots then when we select in fact the theta of the run 5 we can see that this is the theta that is optimized by comparing this response to the other control setting response and again if you go to the to the github repository Again, I'll put the link in the description so you can find out that I've changed a little bit the order of the files. And here you can go to the cost function folder and the cost function folder, you will you can find the script for the application that I have showed you in this video. And then you can also find the parallel optimization simulink model that I have showed you right here. And then you can go and try it out yourself. And if you wish, you can broaden the interval that is set for the variation of the different control gains and narrow down the step for each variation between the minimum and the maximum value to find out more precise 
information about the optimized control configuration. And this is all for today. So if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and see you next time. Thank you.